Tech heads have been busy getting FSR4 working on the 7000 and the 6000 series of AMD's graphics cards, and I've got one. So am I about to get busy hacking my GPU? Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. Good to see ya, good to be back. So AMD have been hard at work with machine learning optimizations for FSR4. Uh, they've got uh, AFMF, Fluid Motion Frames, I can never say that properly, uh, Fluid Motion Frames 3 in the works, and uh, they've got Redstone coming, which is like a shiny new box for all their upscaling technologies to go in that's going to be powered by uh, machine learning. It also looks like they're ready to bring FSR 4 to older GPUs and maybe some consoles. So what's going on? Cause I got it going on. Okay, so AMD accidentally leaked their FSR4 source code on GPU Open. Uh, for those of you that don't know, GPU Open is AMD's open source repo for all their GPU upscaling technology, and it's a really great resource. So uh, tech tubers and uh, you know tech reporters all around usually go to the repository to look for new news and look for leaks and rumors and stuff like that. It's a uh, YouTuber's dream, so you can check that out. So before it got taken down, a bunch of guys took the code, took screenshots, did all that sort of crazy stuff, and got a lighter version of FSR4 working on the 7000 series. Now, if you're saying, what do you mean by a lighter version of FSR 4, Dan? I only thought that FSR 4 was available on the 9000 series. This is what happened. The FSR 4 algorithm uses a shader library with a data format called FP8. That stands for 8-bit floating point, and that can calculate numbers to the decimal point. So that means it is more precise for machine learning and it results in uh, better visual quality and a better FSR4, right? So when AMD accidentally leaked the FSR4 SDK, it also contained a shader library with a data format called int8, and that stands for 8-bit integer. So 8-bit integer calculates whole numbers only. It's faster, and it'll work on older hardware's compute units, but it doesn't look as good. So people are running wild, right? They've taken that int8 version of FSR4 and they've started messing around with the DLL files and getting FSR4 to work on older hardware on a whole range of games. Uh, one guy did it with Stellar Blade. Uh, we've seen it on Spider-Man 2. There's been a whole bunch of videos made swapping them around and getting FSR 4 unofficially working on older hardware. So this is really great news because it means we can get FSR 4 visual quality, but on older hardware, there is a bit of a performance hit. So that's the drawback, but a lot of people are saying it looks much, much better than the current FSR 3.1, I believe, that's already on older GPUs. So a lot of tech tubers are recommending people do the swap in because it's fairly easy, you know what I mean? You can use OptiScaler. Uh, for the 7000 series, all you need to do is a straight swap of the DL in your games. So that's pretty straightforward for most people. But am I going to do it? I don't know, guys. So I'm actually thinking that AMD have messed up a little bit more than people are maybe giving them credit for. Why? Because I reckon that the Int 8 version of FSR 4 is actually in development for the PS5 Pro's version of the new PSSR, PSSR 2. Now, in the source code, it actually seems like this is a PC-only product because there's other code that might suggest that they're developing for the PlayStation as well, but it stands to reason that they need the uh, FSR for working on older hardware because PlayStation and PlayStation Pro use uh, RDNA 2, right? Which is the same as my uh, 6800 XT. So it all needs to be working on that hardware. And if, if it's working on the PS5 and the PS5 Pro, people are going to complain that it's not working on their, you know, 
seven and six thousand series of gpus so they probably let this one go a little bit too early they rolled out mark Cerny. he's been saying for ages that uh the new evolution of pssr is going to be through fsr4 hi i'm mark Cerny. having said that Super resolution is definitely the focus of our current efforts. So things are just sort of lining up a little bit. Hey, just want to jump in here and say, if you're enjoying any of the content on Computer Games Hardware, please check us a like, share, and subscribe. Watching the videos really helps me out, guys. Big thank you to all the OGs out there who have been supporting the channel from day one, and big hello to all the new subscribers that have just joined us. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Hey, you guys can get yourself a VR headset from Pimax, and you can use my code CGHWGIFT, one word, or CGHW at the checkout to get a few different discounts. Check it out in the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, so anyway, that's the long way of saying that everyone's getting FSR4 working on their older hardware, the 7000 series, and even the 6000 series. So why is it important? Well, it looks like you can get a much better visual quality with the in-date version of FSR4 on the 7000 series with only a 7 to 10% performance hit. And on the 6000 series, some people are reporting that it is a 10 to 20% performance hit for the same visual quality. So that is pretty excellent. If you haven't seen FSR4 up close, uh, I highly recommend you go do it. I think Hardware Unbox has done some comparisons and things like that. So it's worth checking out. And if you're a little bit tech savvy and you're not afraid of uh, you know, swapping the DLLs out in your games like Spider-Man, I think they've done it on Stellar Blade and some other games, Ratchet and Clank, you do really get a really good visual representation of the game almost natively so all that shimmering all that ghosting and stuff that's in fsr 3.1 is gone with fsr 4 so if you're playing your games and you're already getting over 100 fps it might be worth swapping out the dlls for fsr 4 and getting that new crisp look so I guess the question is, uh, are you guys confident with uh, swapping out the DLLs on the 7000 series using uh, programs like OptiScaler and stuff like that to be able to get FSR4 on your GPU? Now, for me, I don't think I'm going to be mucking around with it too much unless you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see how to update your games to be running FSR 4. So AMD just released an update to FSR 3.1. I believe it's FSR 3.1.4 and it features a newly modular and upgradable design. I think it's a new DLL file that is supposed to be upgradable with FSR Redstone and Fluid Motion Frames 3. So clearly AMD are thinking about this stuff already. That's why it was in the FSR 4 SDK anyway, right? So my inkling is to just hold off and see what FSR Redstone brings because uh, AMD have said it's on track and it's scheduled for 2025. So we haven't got a lot to wait. So I think AMD will be doing this in a big driver update. It will come in a nice shiny package and that means you won't have to mess around with DLL files. It'll be easier for developers to be able to put AMD Redstone into their games because they're making it so it's modular. I hope also that this has something to do with uh, UDNA because as we know, UDNA stands for like a unified design. So they're trying to make things easier, more modular and more upgradable. And I think the in eight version is imminent on our older GPU hardware anyway. If they're doing it for PS5 customers, they're gonna have to do it for their desktop GPU customers as well. I think it's only fair. I think that's what they're planning anyway. And then that's gonna give them some good lead time on actually getting UDNA out. People will be happy with FSR4 in their 
older games on their older hardware and that will sort of uh, hold people over until a big new architecture is uh, released and ready to go. So for me guys, I'm inclined to wait for AMD's Redstone and Fluid Motion Frames 3 because that's uh, also been spotted in the new preview drivers that you can download now. I'll put a link in the description below as well. Um, so I think this is coming sooner rather than later actually because uh, I don't think AMD want guys on Reddit uh, you know beating them to better implementations of FSR 4 than they can do so I think this is coming and it's going to come with a little bit of fanfare so I'm actually looking forward to that so do you guys want me to walk through how to install FSR 4 on your 6000 series GPU uh, do you want videos about how upscaling works what FSR 4 actually is and all that stuff let me know in the comments down below. I can create that content for you. All right, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'm looking forward to Redstone and Fluid Motion Frames 3. Stick around on Computer Games Hub where we'll be covering all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.